What's up, cool reporters? It looks like Amber has kind of um, admitted to not really believing like the series of lies that Matt came in with and was introduced to us on the show with. Here's what she kind of revealed about like their little world in an interview with Cosmo Magazine. When Matt told her that it was his friend who tweeted Farah and like flirted with her, told her she was beautiful, would love to take her out, all that kind of stuff. Um, he, he was like, oh, it was my friend, it wasn't me. I've never watched a show. Amber doesn't believe that lie. Um, and I'm glad that she's admitted to not believing that lie because what kind of like 40 year old man's friend goes, hey, let's tweet this girl from Teen Mom, the crazy one with the crazy family. Let's go tweet her, tell her we wanna take her out on a date and all that. And like of all the people on Twitter, why would someone from Teen Mom jump into the mind of Matt's friend? Even though Amber admits that she doesn't believe that lie, she quote unquote doesn't care that it's a lie and of course she makes an excuse for him. She claims that Matt um, is trying to convince everyone that he's never seen Teen Mom because he is that old, he's in his 40s, and she says that his friends would make fun of him and all that. But I'm like, Amber, wouldn't your friends make fun of you for having nine children that you don't even care for at all? I think that's something I'd be more embarrassed by and something that would keep me from appearing on television personally but different strokes for different folks, of course. Another thing that she said in Matt's defense was that all that stuff was before her, so why should she care? But like Amber, here's your logic, and it's so freaking flawed and annoying because a lot of people do a lot of crazy ass shit before they start dating someone. So I can't be like, oh, Charles Manson, you killed all those women, but that was before me, so I don't really care. No, like the fact that he's got a trail of nine children by however many women, the fact that he's uh, crushed on your coworkers and is lying to you about um, not knowing who you were and all that, and that he lives off of your money, these things should be sending off alarm bells in your head. But unfortunately, I feel like Am uh, Matt might have Amber under the influence of something because uh, it seems like those blind items floating around just might be true. His child support payments are mysteriously like being paid these days and settled out of court. And like the only thing that's changed in all this time about Matt is that he's got someone with money these days. So it doesn't take a genius to fit, put two and two together and see that, hey, Amber for some reason is putting Matt's name on the homes that she buys and flips with her own money. And all of a sudden his child support cases are no longer being like um, brought her further up in court. You know what I mean? Like all of a sudden he's paying like, Amber, please wake up up what's going on here girl i really admire cosmo for asking her and grilling her about these things but i wish that they went even further i wish they asked her okay you don't believe um okay you have an excuse for this lie but what's your excuse for him and all these children amber Honestly, I'm pretty sure that Matt even has another story for the woman who committed suicide after um, claiming that he sexually assaulted her as well. And that is really sad and pathetic. Amber is such a beautiful girl. She may not have the best personality. She may be a little bit violent, but even still, she could do better than like a 40 year old unemployed con man. What do you guys think? Share all your opinions and thoughts with me in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. You can also like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.